dogs. G'day. Just coming back from the morning's hunt. Thought I'd uh, give you guys a rundown on the hunting belt I carry. Somebody asked me to do this on uh, some of the comments uh, a little, little while ago. So I'll go through it. It's a little bit different to the sort of stuff the average Aussie pig hunter carries. Bit of a monstrosity to be honest. But we'll go through it. So to start with, the belt. Nice and wide. This is uh, made by Barkin for Bacon, who's a gear maker and upholsterer in Mareeba, North Queensland. Makes some really good stuff. You should go check him out. Actually, I'll put the uh, link to his website in the description. He does mail order stuff as well. But that wide belt lets everything hang nicely. If I've used skinny belts before and everything just bunches up and it's uh, not much good. So, first cab off the rank. These guys. These are some ratcheting secateurs. I find these invaluable in the rainforest. Trying to get through some of this really thick, horrible, hostile vegetation is very difficult sometimes. These ratcheting secateurs let you get through some fairly chunky stuff. And they just uh, live in a modified pistol holster made by Barkin for Bacon. Levi is his name. Good bloke too. Secondly, of course, pig sticker. This is just standard old F dick, eight inch pig sticker. And uh, this sheath made by Levi, Barking for Bacon. Right, second knife. The bloke who first took me pig hunting always recommended that I carry two knives, just in case you drop one. If you drop your main sticker and your dogs have got hold of a pig, you got nothing to dispatch it with. So, while this is used mainly for gutting pigs out in the field, it's also long enough uh, that I can stick a pig with it if need be. So, this is a Svord knife, S-V-O-R-D. They're a New Zealand um, independent knife maker and all these knives are made by hand. I've used these for years, I used to use this all through my professional hunting when I was over in NZ and they're excellent knives on the leather sheath all right I won't take this off because it's a bugger to get back on so I'm carrying here a PLB a personal locator beacon my mum and my missus ganged up on me a couple of years back to make me carry one of these on the belt and I'm glad they did well, I haven't had to use it but if anyone watching has gone and seen Bo's video of him getting ripped up by a boar. Uh, you'll see just how quickly things can go pear-shaped. Now, if that had been me, you know, by myself, way back in the hills, or way out in the bush somewhere, and that had happened with no mates, well, you haven't got many options. You either bleed to death, or you set off one of these if you've got one. I'll put a uh, link to that video of Bo's as well in the description. You can go and have a look if you haven't seen it already. It's pretty... Uh, pretty full on. So next cab off the rank, belt pouch made by Levi, barking for bacon again. The stuff that he uses, this vinyl, is really good for the tropics. The leather is a great material but it rots up here in the tropics. It's very hard to keep it in good condition. Even leather treatments, the traditional leather treatments don't really work. The mold and the fungus and everything tends to get hold of it and eat it. <laughs> So in here I carry some basic first aid equipment, mostly uh, revolving around trauma or snake bite. So I've got some blood clot gauze, uh, wound dressings, staple gun and snake bandage. Uh, you know, it also carries things like spare camera batteries and a torch and uh, that sort of carry on. So next thing I carry is these. These are just a couple of vinyl dog collars made by Levi. Again, barking for bacon. So they're a little bit shorter. I use these to carry my pigs out and they can be quite useful in uh, other circumstances as well. You know, obviously you can <laughs> put one on a dog and tie it up if you need to. But uh, yeah, again, that nice vinyl doesn't rot. I've carried quite a few large pigs out with this and it hasn't broken. 
hasn't even looked like deteriorating. So it does well. And lastly, a bit of rope. Now in Australia we call this Telstra rope because it's uh, the rope used by the uh, main telco here. Most Australians would be pretty familiar with it. Parramatta rope, it's just got an eye spliced in each end and then a snap clip. I use this uh, as a jaw rope for putting around the pig's jaw to make it easier to carry them out if I'm going to carry out a bore hole. And uh, obviously you can tie a dog up with it if you want to. And uh, yeah, a piece of rope comes in handy in all kinds of situations out in the bush. So I like to have one. So I'll just keep that wrapped up and on the belt. So there you have it. That's uh, pretty much all I carry in the bush. So if any of you guys uh, get out in the bush a fair bit and carry different stuff, uh, I'd be really interested to know. So jump on the comments and uh, yeah, give us a look or tell me what you carry out there because uh, it's always good to get new ideas. All right, thanks. Good dog.